Hi, I'm Sylvia Hale. I'm one of the four Greens members of the New South Wales Upper House. I'm also the Greens spokesperson on planning. I'd like to talk to you about planning, what planning's about. I'm sitting here in a park which to me epitomises good planning. There's bus stops close by, there's a railway station up uh, the street. It's surrounded by private housing, but behind me is some uh, housing that was built by the Department of Housing. The government's planning strategies assume that more than one million additional people will be living in New South Wales in 20 years' time, and that the planning system's role is to facilitate the growth of residential and, and industrial developments to meet the extra demand. That means speeding up development approvals, overriding environmental and heritage controls, and taking away the opportunity for local residents to have any real or genuine say in what is happening in their community. Faced with the planning laws that stopped the development free-for-all of the 1970s, the development industry found a new way around those laws. It simply pays enough in political donations and gets the laws changed to suit. The developer lobby, who are, over the last five years, contributed $9.9 .9 million to Labor's uh, electoral coffers. Not that the Liberals are much better, although they've managed to rake in less than Labor. Over that five years, they managed to raise $5.8 million. The New South Wales Greens have never accepted donations from the property development industry, nor any other industry. Well, the new laws mean most developments will not have to go through a development application to the local council. They will be simply signed off by a private certifier paid for by the developer. Nearby residents won't know of the development until the builders arrive to start work. But planning is about being fair to everyone. Fair to the person who wants to develop, fair to the neighbours who are going to be affected by that development, and fair to the community as a whole. And that's what the Greens want. The Greens want a community which is good for its residents and good for the environment overall. And we can do it.